guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a story time video which literally happened just yesterday and I feel like I need to talk about this not just because it's like a decent story but because I feel like this needs to be spread about and everyone needs to kind of gain awareness for this and so this can be changed. It's so stupid. So basically this is the story about how some probably 12 year old girl harassed me on Instagram and then brought it to YouTube. You may have noticed some nasty comments on my last video I posted. So it all started when I got a DM on Instagram from this girl and she, I mean I don't have them now because I blocked her so I can't really see the messages aside from the ones that I have already screenshotted to show other people. But she basically was saying, like, I love your video so much, you're so pretty, blah, 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 and you're like, I'm a fan. And so I was like, oh, thanks, like, I'll check out your YouTube videos too. So then I kind of, like, did, nothing else happened for a couple of days. And then I got, like, messages from her being like, why do you hate me? Why didn't you follow me back? Like, smiley face, I mean, like, no, not smiley face, huh, no, not smiley face. Sad face, crying face. And I was like, what the heck is going on here? Like, drama queen much? And then... She was commenting on my pictures. Again, you can't see these because I blocked her, so you can't see them anymore. But pictures, she wrote comments on my pictures. Um, on my YouTube, those ones are probably still up unless she takes them down. And about, like, why do you hate me? Follow me back. And then she even emailed me. And I know that it's like, okay, I put my email out for people to email me. Um, because it's just my YouTube one, it's not really my personal one or anything like that. But it was still kind of creepy that someone would go to the extent to actually email you to follow them. So I was like, okay, this is really weird. And her friends were commenting on my pictures, on my videos, and direct messaging me and saying, follow her. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. I'm just going to get this over with and follow her because, like, then she'll probably just be happy. It'll be done for. And, like, following her isn't a big deal. She seemed like a cute girl. Um, and she only had like 180 followers, so it's not like she really does this a lot. So that was the confusing part. I was like, okay, I'll follow you, like, I guess, whatever. You know, nothing happened for a couple more days. Um, and then a couple days ago, she messaged me again. She was like, why didn't you like my newest photo? Um, and I was like, this is so weird. Like, why are you literally begging me to like your photos? And then her other friends were like, like her photos, she's your biggest fan. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Like fans, I don't know, I feel, just feel like fans don't do that. But oh, I was like, girl, this is what fans are like. I don't want fans. I want friends, not fans. So it was really overwhelming and I kind of like, I, just because she was begging me to like her photos, like it just made me kind of feel like I didn't want to because the point of Instagram is to like photos because you like them or like you want to mutually support each other and I didn't feel like the relationship that we had together was mutually supporting each other or I was liking it because I was honestly like, wow, that's a really nice picture. Which might seem rude for me to say like, oh, I didn't want to like it because it wasn't a good picture. But it just like, I would just scroll through my Instagram and like like three that come up and I'm like, oh wow, that's a nice picture. And usually it doesn't have to do with who it is. So, I don't know. It was just, yeah, it just made me, because I'm kind of the person that's like sassy. Like, if you're going to do that, then I guess I'm not going to. So I just felt like I didn't want to give her that like because of the way that she was begging for it. Let me just see what I have screenshot wise so then she started messaging me again and she said why are you being so mean to me crying faces i'm your biggest fan i just gave you a shout out please like my recent i gave you a shout out so she gave me a shout out and somehow she was thinking that would like buy her likes which again like i appreciate the shout out full heartedly but i just didn't feel like it was like a mutual thing do you know what i'm saying like it just didn't feel right for her to give me a shout out so I wasn't going to praise that because the reason why she was giving me a shout out wasn't because she like I don't know it just didn't feel right so I didn't feel like it was proper for me to be praising that I don't know if anyone understands this but that's just how I kind of felt and I just didn't respond and then she like screenshotted it she's like did you see my Instagram I gave you a shout out and I'm helping you get many subscribers and I was like yes thank you I appreciate it I just feel forcing people to like your pictures is unnecessary and redundant and she said I just want you to like my pics you really don't like me crying face crying face 
you don't give a bleep about your fans and I was like okay you are not my fan if you are forcing me to like your photos I just don't get that and the fact that she was also her friends were threatening me too they were like if you don't like her photos I'm going to dislike all your videos um just some like really nasty things I'm like fans don't do that so obviously you're not a fan and I do appreciate any fans that I have even though I don't personally believe that I have fans yet and then she said I deserve it please okay fine my friends are disliking your videos now I'm sorry and she would just spam me like one after the other and it was so weird but like part of me I'm like oh this is some juicy stuff going on like I at first like I didn't really want to block her because it's just like okay it'll it'll sort itself out um and I felt like blocking her was almost letting her win in a way because I was just like I can't handle this anymore I block um and I think that I probably should have done it earlier but to me I felt like I was like losing if I did that if I let her get to me enough that I was going to block her so I didn't block her and she kept on spamming me and she was like I'm done with you and I was like when were we ever like <laughs> and then all of a sudden she started um, sending me screenshots from like one of those live subscriber counts of like my subscriber count actually going up so I did hit like 117 subscribers and I was like no like she's editing this this is weird go and check it out myself and it was actually going up it was like going up by the second and I was like what the heck what is going on and she was like so will you keep hating me like I did this for you and I was like I don't hate you but this is like weird right so then I was then she's like I said that I don't hate you and she said why do you want why don't you want to like my pictures then I'm helping you get to a thousand subscribers and at this point I was like I don't want to reach a hundred hundred subscribers by her I don't know what she was doing but like cheating the system basically I didn't want to reach a hundred like that I didn't want to reach a thousand like that and she then you know how you can go to the heart and it says you and then following she went to following and like I was still just browsing Instagram like it didn't really seem like a huge deal to me at this point I was starting to get quite creeped out, but I was like whatever just going through and she's like you liked four photos three minutes ago What about me? How about my pictures? And I actually went to go look at her picture and be like, okay Well, if I like it, maybe she'll just leave me alone And I went to it and I actually had liked it previously that day So I sent her a screenshot and I was like I did like it today and she's just like what about all my other photos? You didn't like all my other photos and I was like, okay, this is just getting too much and I blocked one of her other friends who is being really rude to me. Um, why don't you like me? I'm your biggest fan. I gave you 30 new subscribers in 5 seconds. That's why my friends will dislike your videos. And why did you block her friend like so and so? And I was like, okay, what the heck? And she says, she's my best friend. Go follow her again now in capital letters. And I'm like, what the heck? Is this actually a 12 year old? Or is it like some really creepy person behind the screen of a 12 year old? And she's like, she's helping you too. And she's like, why did you block her? And I was like, okay, this is getting creepy. I'm sorry. And she said, it's okay. She'll forgive you. Follow her again. And we won't just like your videos. I promise. Um, let me ask her if you followed her. No, you didn't follow her. Just liking your videos and you're losing 40 subscribers. She didn't even give me 40 subscribers. She gave me like maybe 20. Um, you blocked her. Why? And then at this point, I was just, um, I think honestly... Yeah, at that point I blocked her as well because it was just getting too much and I was just kind of weirded out by it. And meanwhile, while she was direct messaging me all of this stuff, I was getting comments on my latest post uh, from her and then I blocked her. She ends up having a second account, is commenting on my uh, picture from her second account, disliking all your videos, why did you block me? 13 dislikes, like winky face. Her friend also had commented a lot on this picture I believe or maybe it was on this one so her friend did comment and said that I was like ugly or something but I guess she deleted all of her posts or maybe I blocked her last night as well but she was being really rude as well just saying okay well we're gonna dislike all your videos now so there was like a gang of them all ganging up on me and I was like what the heck so I have filters on my YouTube comments of like swear words bad words just anything putting anyone down so all of the comments originally got filtered out, but when I saw them, um, I just felt like if I were to keep them private or delete them, it would just make it seem like they were winning, that I didn't want that, and then they would just keep commenting and commenting. So I let it go up, and I was like, whatever, like, this honestly doesn't bother me. Some of the comments that they put up were, 
I just like this stupid video, ugly bleep, huge nose, me and my friends will ruin your channel, Julia was your biggest fan, bleep, you deserve to die. That's really messed up. Um, and then I was like, okay, this is, this just looks bad for them, right? So this girl who like started the whole thing goes, thank you girls, please dislike this stupid video. She blocked me on Instagram. And I'm like, you're gonna admit the whole reason why you hate me is because I blocked you on Instagram? That's so stupid. So yeah, there's a couple other ones. A lot of them saying that I have a huge nose. And I'm like, yes, I know I have a huge nose. That's like one of my biggest insecurities. I, how'd you know that? Gosh. Um, but yeah. And I have 13 dislikes on my video, like she promised. But honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. And I just want to spread the word that there are so many people that hate on small YouTubers. And small YouTubers don't have the um, huge amount of people to support them like larger YouTubers do. So if you ever come across a video where someone's hating on them like that, you can probably assume safely that they didn't do anything wrong and these people are just like blindly hating on them. So it would make them feel so much better if you just gave them a nice comment or defended them, even if you don't know them, even if you don't think that their video was that good. Because that person, I mean, I don't feel that bad because I think that I've grown into myself and I'm happy with myself and I don't really care what other people will think. And I truly mean that. I'm not just saying that because, you know, that's what everyone says, that they grew, that they don't hate themselves. I really do like myself, so it doesn't bother me at all. Um, but for some people, it will make or break their YouTube channel, their emotions. It can just go haywire. And telling someone to die isn't okay, no matter who they're talking to or what they're talking about. There's no reason to tell someone that they should go and die. So, yeah, I just thought that I should make a video about this because it is quite the story, but also to tell everyone that it's not okay to do that at all. And again, if you see it, try to support them and help them out any way you can. It was quite the experience for me and it was eye-opening, but it's also something that I think every YouTuber has to go through in order to call themselves a YouTuber. Every YouTuber will get hate at some point, whether it's for being famous or for doing something as stupid as blocking someone because they were being creepy as heck or whatever it might be. Someone, Everyone will get a little bit of hate in their life. It's just something you have to learn to deal with and hopefully you'll have support systems with you to encourage you on your journey. And yeah, I don't really have that much to say. It's just so silly. I just really want YouTube to be a th positive thing for me. I want people to be able to think that they can comment without um, having any backlash to it. And this, I feel like, really set that back. So yeah. Let me know any experiences that have happened to you in the comments down below so we can start a, a discussion about this topic, about silly, stupid people thinking that it's okay to harass other people into liking their videos or liking their pictures or subscribing or following or commenting or any of that because everyone's free to like or comment or not like or comment or anything what they want and that doesn't have to do with any threats that the person is throwing at them. So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video or at least learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys again in my next video and hopefully it will be a bit of a more fun one.